game should have leaning. I love leaning. It's super fun. Oh. Oh. So hello gamers, there are a lot of FPS games in Roblox. Some of them are better than others, but today I wanted to talk about what I believe to be the number one just best Roblox FPS, which is of course bad business. I've made a couple of videos on this game. Today I wanted to talk about everything on why this is the best FPS on Roblox. Yes, probably better than Phantom Forces. So I like Phantom Forces more. Yeah, kinda. More or less, I do like Phantom Forces a little bit more. However, just because I like Phantom Forces more doesn't mean that Phantom Forces is necessarily a better game. So that's why I'm gonna be talking about all oh, this guy's freaking spawn shield. Okay. First off, they actually just revamped the Honey Badger, and it is my high skill gun because I was a low rank and I needed a gun that I could just grind out a ton of kills on. I actually got to experience being a low rank and being a low rank pre buyer. And I know that the Honey Badger isn't necessarily the best gun in the entire game or anything, but I really was enjoying it and it made me actually like the game again because I've actually been playing this game for a long time before they had even any attachments. Not even like when they had that first update that added three scopes on your guns and you had to get like a certain number of kills back when you didn't even level up your guns. And I have proof that I didn't ever level up any of my guns. The proof is in the fact that I actually have 411 kills on a level 2 gun versus having 398 on a level 30 gun. So I have more kills on a gun that's level 2 than one that is level 30. That's because this game used to not have leveling and it didn't just give you XP for guns you had kills on, but it did remember your kills, which is just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I could have such a high level in the Vector because the Vector was essentially my main gun. The Hand Cannon and the Vector were just so much fun. The Hand Cannon was essentially just my main gun this game first came. Out. I was just using it the most. But yeah, the movement in this game is so nice. There's so many good game modes. I mean, the gun sounds, animations, like, look at this reload. It's so nice. This game just looks so good. It looks AAA quality. It's made by the same exact people who made, well, not exactly the same people, but some of the same people that made Polygons, which is my favorite Roblox FPS game possibly of all time. And recently, they have announced that they actually purchased the rights to Polygons, and they're going to actually have Polygons uh, items in this game, and maybe update Polygons, I hope, but that probably won't happen. I really wish Polyguns would get an update. I will put the link to the Polyguns video maybe in the top right, uh, maybe in the description, but look around on my channel. It's called the most underrated Roblox FPS of all time. That's the video. And yeah, I talk about how Polyguns is just an amazing game. The time to kill in this game is pretty slow, as you can see. And by slow, I mean high time to kill. High time to kill means it takes more shots and longer to kill and low time to kill. It's super weird. Low time to kill is like Phantom Forces where every gun kills in like one second. And this game, you know, you got to hit some shots, some serious shots. It's really fun for these high fire rate guns because you really got to beam a man to kill a guy really fast, which makes the fast firing guns with the low damage actually really skill based. They can have a high time to kill, but they require some really good aim versus something like, you know, G3, which I will be using the G3 later in the video, which is like a four shot kill. It doesn't shoot super fast. It doesn't have the best time to kill. However, it actually doesn't require nearly as much skill if you think about it. Also, is that an MF Doom Mask? They got an MF Doom Mask. That's so cool. I don't know too much about this game. I'm almost to Prestige 2, which is is pretty cool but you got to keep in mind i've been playing this game since the beginning i was level 55 for like two years on this game or something but you got to hit some serious shots to get a kill with the vector which is really fun i really like the vector the old vector way better but what i feel bad for that guy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i also did pre-buy the most toxic item in the game which is of course the insta heal because it just instantly heals you it's really fair and balanced my main guns are like the dsr 50 which is such a fun sniper rifle i'm only level 19 on it with 200 kills because i did use it before it got some changes also i don't really use shotguns in this game ever if you look my main guns are basically the g3 the g36c the galil the honey badger and the STG44 and the XK416. I'll actually use the DSR50, which has one of the most broken conversions I've ever seen in any video game, which is the 308 conversion. This conversion is insanely busted because this gun basically has a torso kill at any range if you hit the torso, which is a little bit more difficult than other games because humanoid hitboxes, it's actually kind of hard to hit torso shots. But this basically has no damage drop off, but it has a conversion known as 308. It gives it faster aiming speed, a five round magazine, and literally just just, it just makes it better. So you get five bullets instead of three, which is just amazing. And you get faster handling. You know what the downside is? Worst hit fire, which it doesn't matter. It's a sniper rifle. It doesn't really need great hit fire. And also worst damage range, which literally doesn't matter because this has infinite damage ranges. It's so stupid. Wait, no, did they actually change it? No way. Oh my gosh, they actually did make it not as broken. Well, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to buy the five round magazine. I want a torso kill at any range. I didn't realize they did that. 
Oh, it's got recoil, dude. Wait, what? So 308 isn't broken. My bad. I didn't realize. I want the five round mag though, because the five round mag is just really helpful to have. Aiming speed is so bad though. I bought like short barrel and so much stuff just to make this a little bit better. But let me tell you, it is not great in terms of mobility, but I really like sniping this game. It's really fun. And also they have like Valorant smoke grenades now, which are just kind of weird. Bulk. Sniping this game is really fun because the limbs are like 75 damage and the torso is usually 150, which is really nice because double damage torso hits means you got to be pretty accurate to really one tap people too often, which makes sniping like super rewarding and super skill based usually except with this one because it does torso kill at any range it's really not too bad to be honest it's not like multipliers it's like different damage like you don't have like double headshot or whatever damage like phantom forces does you can have like the same damage torso and limb and also like tons of headshot damage you can have like double the torso damage and like it's super weird i don't know exactly how their hitboxes and everything work but at least you can see the stats of the guns i just don't understand it too much with the 150 hp which is pretty interesting Resting. I don't really know any other games that have like 150 HP for no reason. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why can't it be 100 and just make the damage lower, you know? Like, it should just be that. I don't know. Oh. Also, please have a 100 health game mode. I would love to see that. It doesn't even have to be super well balanced. It's just like one game mode. They have some cool game modes. But yeah, sniping this game is pretty cool. There is bullet drop, which is interesting. I can never really tell what the bullet drop is like in this game because it's mostly CQC based. But I have heard that there is bullet drop, which is pretty interesting. We also got the G3. And as you can see, the recoil continues to go up, but the recoil in this game is really not bad. You can make most guns basically have no recoil. There is an M231, which doesn't actually have that much recoil, but has actual bloom, which is kind of annoying. Honestly, I don't know which I prefer, high recoil or high bloom. I think the M231 is still really, really good. I just don't know how good it is. It doesn't fire as fast as the M231 in Phantom Forces does, but the M231 in Roblox FPS games at least has a very interesting reputation, you know what I'm saying? Like Phantom Forces M231, it's better than it was before, but it used to just be the best CQC gun in the entire game of Phantom forces i have the problem of like never switching to my secondary in this game even though the scorpion is a super good secondary and i try to reload but it's not like phantom forces where the reloads are like 0.01 seconds in a lot of cases these are decently long reloads like the g3 reload i think that's with sleight of hand but i could be wrong it's probably xp boost i'm not a super high level in the g3 like level 25 and the attachment system in this game is just amazing it is so much better than phantom forces i'm gonna be real like phantom forces is cool it's got a lot of attachments and a lot of variety but there's only like four things you really use in phantom forces you know what i'm saying for attachments like it's only like a few things in this game you use everything like everything is pretty well balanced and it's really easy to tell what you want in a gun it just tells you the upgrades and downgrades on all this stuff the minimal stock is kind of busted though why does it give you better recoil control and increased mode what that doesn't make any sense i don't have compensator yet that's what i want i got ranger grip which is fine 556 conversion and 30 round mag on here oh i actually kind of want to try the 30 round mag it's probably not great do i have to switch it out with something yes i do uh, i'll switch it out with xp boost for right now because i don't really need xp boost okay let's see this this gun shoots forever with 30 rounds. Jeez. And the reload is not bad either. That's kind of crazy. I feel like the reload should be a little bit faster with the 20 round mags. I'm not going to lie because 30 rounds might be the play. I don't know if I want 30 rounds though because I've never heard of a G3 with 30 rounds. Is that real? Like, do they actually have 30 round G3s? I've always thought of them as being 20 rounds, but that's fine. Next up, what I wanted to talk about is legendaries. Now, these are interesting skins that actually will give you separate iron sights and fire sound effects and reload animations for your gun of choice. It doesn't seem to like do what the Call of Duty and like some legendary skins in certain games do, which is give it separate attachments. It doesn't do that, which is kind of sad, but you do get some really nice reload and animations like that. I thought maybe you got some special stuff with it, but no, you don't. But it does leave these cool bullet effects, which are very nice. I just got sniped. One of my favorite things about this game is that the kill feed shows the attachments on the gun, which is just, I don't know how they did that. They couldn't have made a sprite combination for every single one because that would literally take years. You'd have to do just thousands of different combinations for every single gun, which would just be ridiculous. So I don't really know how they did that, but it's really cool. Wow. The hits to kill on this gun is not great. Oh, they got a PPSH. That's cool, because this is Russia. Welcome to Russia, boys. Okay, let me find the sniper. I hear him. Don't snipe. Ooh. I don't really like the muzzle flash on this gun. It's a little bit too much. Maybe I could get a flash hider. I don't know. Is there a flash hider in this game? I don't even know. 
Would it actually hide the flash though? Because some of the attachments just don't work. I think if you put an optic on this skin, it just doesn't do anything because you don't really need an optic. It has the irons. And you're supposed to be buying it for like irons and things. The irons are pretty good on this, not gonna lie. Yeah, but the XK416 in this game has a 60 round mag. In a lot of like COD type games, you wanna have the biggest magazine possible. And for this game, yeah, it's kind of helpful to have a 60 round mag. Kind of annoying reload times and stuff and you have slower movement, but this gun doesn't have the most amazing hits to kill. So if you wanna be able to get more kills, probably best that you run a bigger mag which is weird coming from a guy who uses like type 20 with default magazine and stuff and 2545 on every gun in phantom forces that has it dude let me reload that guy was bad Ooh, and insta heal so that's why people don't like insta heal it's a stim it just heals you up automatically and it's very annoying i'm dead let me go back to the dsr 50 but i'll put a scope on it let's try actual sniping Ooh, this is some fast aim Whoa, this scope is great. I haven't used the scope on this gun since they revamped it. I used to use this gun quite a bit. But the revamped scope, though, it looks really nice. My problem with scopes, though, is that for, like, CQC, it is, like, pretty much impossible to use these things. Firing snipers is not really the greatest. You can't get 100% accuracy or anything, but for long range, I guess it's good. If I could hit this guy, I'm at four health. Oh, I can just insta-heal all of my health back. Oh, there's another sniper over here. Can I shoot him? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the flash went through the tree. That's so busted. I didn't even know the trees were non-collidable. I think in Phantom Forces, they are collidable. Ooh, oh, that was a hit marker. Oh, headshot. So yeah, there is drop. I'm having to account for drop a tiny bit, but it's really not that bad. I'm going to be real. Got him. Bro, you're trash. You shot like 30 shots at me. That was stupid. Also, you can lean. I don't really lean too much because it's just not like that effective. But it's great to have it in the game. I, I feel like every game should have leaning. I love leaning. It's super fun. Oh. Oh. So, I mean, this game is really great because when you hit your shots, like, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty difficult because the movement is very fast. The hitboxes are kind of strange and you kind of got to try pretty hard to hit the torso. So when you hit a nice shot, it is very rewarding. I don't know. A bit harder than Phantom Forces. I'm going to be real. Like the long range sniping is kind of annoying. Guns like sniper rifles can hit collaterals, but most guns can't, which is kind of interesting. I feel like that makes a bit of sense. I wish more guns, like even 7.62 assault rifles should be able to pierce at least one person. I guess it doesn't really make a lot of sense that they would, but like that. come on come on make him make him do that. however in this game only like certain lmgs and i think certain ammo types and also sniper rifles are able to pierce think, one enemy and so get a double collat which is kind of annoying i wish you could get collats more often because collating in this game with the hitboxes is really difficult so you should be able to collat with like every gun but maybe not like pws i guess most bullets wouldn't pierce a player and then hit another player but we all wish that they could so this has piercing a four which is a lot more than i thought this is zero though even the foul even the eight like the AK-74 or AK-47, fine, but the foul? This is the foul we're talking about. The foul is such a big gun. This is a 7.62 by 51 and it can't pierce one player. Come on, get real. I'll use my old favorite gun, the Magnum, which did get a change. However, oh, I think this gun used to be able to one-tap torso or like the drop was not even there so you could one-tap head any range. No, it was a one-tap torso, I think. I remember this gun used to be so busted beyond belief. Tactical trigger. I kind of want that. Oh, we're in Legacy Arena. I love this one. Oh. I still feel like this isn't really the best gun or anything, but I kind of want to purchase a scope. I mean, I should have had a scope before, right? Well, I guess they didn't have scopes on this. But basically before, if you got like 150 kills, you got a reflex and then whatever, stuff like that next. Oh, but I do have the Cobra sight for free. Let me just try out the Cobra. Please let me hit some headshots. Yeah, man. I only hit like no shots or one headshot. See, I can't, I can't hit him. I'm going to slide this guy. Got him. Oh yeah, it's FFA. I was like, I just actually use an auto because the Magnum is actually for skilled players. Okay, I'm trash. Got him. That's two guys. Honey Badger running animation now is so good. That's three, I think. Maybe four. Oh, let me insta-heal mid-fight. Yeah. Now you gotta hit me for 300 damage. You couldn't do that, could you? Honey Badger has, like, the slightest amount of recoil to make it kind of uncontrollable at range, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, it's pretty skill-based. Ooh. I don't even know how many kills I got now. It's a pretty nice streak. Please, somebody finish that guy off. Do I not get the kill in FFA? Oh, he's not even dead. Yeah. Yo. Oh, that was such a cool slide. Like, look at this, dude. Woo, woo, woo. It's so much fun. I feel like the Honey Badger is not an arena gun. Like, arena has some big angles. I think my good long range gun right now is probably the Galil, even though I don't really use it that much anymore. Anyways, gamers, that's probably going to do it for the video. I've been recording for a lot longer than I thought I would want to, but I've actually been enjoying this game. So if you guys want to see more videos on this game, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, though, that is bad business for you. If you've never played this game before, which you might have, 
it's most likely that you have if you played any Roblox FPS games because this is definitely one of the more popular ones. It has mobile support. It has all that stuff with it. But yeah, I will see you guys. This is the entire enemy team in the next one. Peace.